Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this lecture, you will learn about primary type of isomerism, known as structural isomerism. First of all, let me teach you chemical formula and its types. Well, think of it as a secret code that tells us what elements and how many of each are present in a compound. It's like a recipe for compound. I have an example of methane. Its chemical formula is CH4. So, what does that mean? C stands for carbon and H represents hydrogen. The number 4 after H tells us that there are 4 hydrogen atoms bonded to 1 carbon atom. So, we can say that it is a chemical formula for methane. This formula is also known as molecular formula. It is a type of chemical formula that tells us the number and type of atoms present in a molecule. Do you know my dear students, methane can be represented in another way. This formula shows how atoms are connected within a molecule. For methane, we have one carbon atom bonded to four hydrogen atoms. So, the formula that shows the arrangement of atoms in a compound, known as structural formula. Let me define structural isomerism. Compounds having the same molecular formula, but different structures. I have an example of pentane, it has the molecular formula C5H12. But guess what? There's not just one way to arrange those atoms. Let's start with the first isomer called N-pentane, which stands for normal pentane. It's the simplest and most straightforward arrangement of pentane. It's a straight chain of 5 carbon atoms, with 12 hydrogen atoms. So the molecular formula of the structure is C5H12. Next we have another structure of pentane, isopentane. This isomer has 4 carbon atoms, in a row, and 1 carbon atom branching off, from the second carbon atom. Although the molecular formula of isopentane is, C5H12. Moving on to another structure of pentane, neopentane, this compound is a bit more complex. The central carbon atom is bonded to, 4 other carbon atoms. These four carbon atoms are arranged tetrahedrally around the central carbon atom. There are total five carbons and 12 hydrogens in this structure. The molecular formula is C5H12. So, all these compounds have the same molecular formula, but different structures, known as structural isomers of pentane. Now, we are going to discuss different types of structural isomerism. Structural isomers can be classified into chain isomerism. Positional isomerism, functional isomerism, metamerism, tautomerism, and ring chain isomerism. Let me explain all these types one by one. Chain isomerism refers to the phenomenon where compounds with the same molecular formula have different structures due to variations in the arrangement of carbon atoms in their chains. To illustrate this, let's take a look at an example using butane. Butane is a hydrocarbon with 4 carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms. In its simplest form, butane exists as a straight chain molecule with all 4 carbon atoms arranged in a single line, known as N-butane. However, due to chain isomerism, there are other possible structures for butane. Another isomer of butane is called isobutane. In this structure, instead of a straight chain, one of the carbon atoms branches off with three hydrogen atoms attached to it, creating a methyl group. This branching gives butane a different structure and different properties. So, both of these isomers have the same molecular formula, but have different structures, known as chain isomers of butane. Functional isomerism occurs when compounds have the same molecular formula, but differ in their functional groups. Let's take a closer look at ethanol and dimethyl ether as examples. Ethanol is commonly known as alcohol and is used in various beverages. It consists of two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. Now, what makes ethanol interesting? It's functional group. That is a hydroxyl group. On the other hand, we have dimethyl ether. It also has two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms, but instead of a hydroxyl group. It has an ether functional group, oxygen atom, sandwiched between two carbon atoms. So both isomers have same molecular formula, but they have different functional groups, known as functional isomers. Now, what is positional isomerism? Well, it's when compounds have the same molecular formula, 
but differ in the position of functional groups. Let's take an example to make it crystal clear. Propane 1 all. It's a 3 carbon chain with an alcohol group attached to the first carbon atom. On the other hand, propane 2 all. It also has 3 carbons, but this time, the alcohol group is attached to the second carbon atom. These two compounds have the same molecular formula, but their functional groups are positioned differently. So these are positional isomers of alcohols. Now we are going to discuss another type of isomerism, known as metamerism. Compounds having the same molecular formula, but different alkyl groups, on two sides of functional group. Let's talk about diethyl ether and methyl propyl ether. Both of these compounds have the same molecular formula, which consists of four carbon atoms, ten hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. However, their structures are a bit different. Diethyl ether has an oxygen atom as a functional group that is sandwiched between two ethyl groups. While methyl propyl ether has an oxygen atom between a methyl group and an propyl group. So visually, they might look similar, but their arrangement of atoms are different on either side of functional group. That's why they are known as metamers of ethers. Tautomerization is the type of structural isomerism having the same molecular formula, but positions of atoms in a molecule can be changed by the transfer of a hydrogen atom or a proton. Let's take an example here. Imagine you have a compound called ketoanol. This compound has two forms, the keto form and the anol form. The keto form has a carbonyl group, with a double bond between carbon and oxygen. On the other hand, the anol form has an alcohol group, connected to a double bond. Now, here it gets interesting. These two forms can easily interconvert with each other. Let's say we start with the keto form. When conditions favor, a hydrogen atom from an adjacent carbon, shifts over to oxygen, forming a double bond between carbon atoms. This creates the anol form. Remember, this process is reversible. So, if conditions change, again anol form can convert back into keto form by shifting that hydrogen atom back. Thus compounds can exist in two interconvertible structures known as tautomers. Twin chain isomerism occurs where compounds have the same molecular formula but can exist in both closed ring form and open chain form. To help you understand, let's take the example of propene and cyclopropane. Propene is a straight chain alkene with three carbon atoms bonded together. On the other hand, cyclopropane is a cyclic alkene where those same three carbon atoms form a triangle. It looks like a cute little ring. Propene and cyclopropane are actually ring chain isomers of each other. You see, they have the same molecular formula, but their structures are different. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.